Let's write the formula for selenium trioxide. So the first thing we'll do, we'll look at the periodic table. Selenium right here, SE, that is a nonmetal. Oxide, that's from oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So two nonmetals gives us a molecular, it's also called a covalent compound. And with these molecular covalent compounds, we need to take into account the prefixes when we write the formula for selenium trioxide. So the element symbol for selenium, that's SE, and then oxide, that's from oxygen. Since we don't have anything written in front of the selenium, we assume there's just one and we don't write the one. For the oxygen, we have the tri here, and tri means three. So we're gonna put a three after the oxygen. That makes the formula for selenium trioxide SeO3. If you were given the formula SeO3 and asked to write the name, you'd know you have two nonmetals, so you'll have to use prefixes. So for SE, you write selenium, and we don't write anything in front of the first element. If there's only one, we just leave it blank. For the oxygen, we would put a tri because we have three of those. This is Dr. B with the formula for selenium trioxide. Thanks for watching.